Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to talk about the CSS3 resize property. In fact, before I explain the HTML or the CSS, I want to straight away start with the browser preview in Google Chrome, Chrome first. I have a div and some text written inside and uh, quite clearly you can see that I can collapse and expand the div but I'm actually s I have set up minimum and maximum limitations and I can be only within that right uh, the view in Chrome is a little zoomed up so you can actually uh, see the code HTML CSS properly right but uh, you know the zoom is set to the normal zoom in uh, Firefox or in Opera let's see how things look like in Opera you see this corner this is the only corner that you can actually manipulate that whether it's uh, whether it's Chrome only this corner and has a different appearance than all the other three corners people notice that right so in all the three browsers the bottom right corner is the only corner that you can actually manipulate you can increase the size you can uh, decrease the size but you are you have set up limitations what is different in uh, Mozilla Firefox is the this uh, corner actually appears a little different when you hover over this corner you see a double headed diagonal arrow and you don't have a minimum you know limitation set up you can go down uh, a lot and this is the maximum uh, limitation that has been set up right so we can actually remove the uh, maximum limitation too by a small adjustment to the code so let's understand the code uh, people and you'll see how things actually work how we can actually resize a division or an element okay now in the opening and the closing div tags let's just focus on the HTML people you may be wondering what kind of an editor I'm actually using I'm using code pen dot io basically uh, it's an online editor people so whatever goes inside the HTML is actually what go, go, goes inside the body section and whatever goes inside the CSS is what is actually going inside the opening closing style tags or the external style sheet so it makes you know coding very easy for you so you can make some very quick tutorials out here alright let's just focus on the HTML first so I'm gonna collapse uh, the CSS uh, section so we can just look at the HTML section for a while. So we have the opening div tag with an ID of resize. Now you could have given a different name too. It's absolutely all right. It's something you can actually choose. And then you have the closing div tag. All right. There's some text inside. Basically, my name, my email address, and my website is http colon forward slash forward slash coldylessons dot net. Okay. So that is all that is there inside the opening and the closing div tags. The only element. Alright, let's collapse the HTML and let's look at the CSS only. Now, what I've done is I've actually specified the width and the height. Now, how things actually work in Chrome, how things actually work in Opera is now whatever width and height you specify is going to act as the minimum limitation. You will not be able to go to 180, 170 or 160, but things work a little differently in Mozilla Firefox. Whereas, you know, the width and the height don't act as stoppers or breaks so you can go even uh, under it you can go to something like 50 or 60 px2 when you resize the division okay the overflow I've set it to auto now it acquires three different values people one is scroll if I change it to scroll let's see how things actually look a little different sc r o double l okay notice that I've got scroll bars now they don't appear simply because the text is not overflowing in case the text would overflow you will actually see the scroll bars people right and the third option is hidden so just in case the text was overflowing or the the div was overflowing uh, whatever overflows uh, would be chopped off would be cut off truncated so the third option is hidden but it's best to keep it at auto so only if need be will the scroll bars appear otherwise they won't now the resize I've set to both basically means that I can resize horizontally as well as vertically the other two values being vertical and horizontal if you specify vertical you can expand it only vertically if you specify horizontal you can specify only from left to right and not from top to bottom so these were the other two values this is the main property people CSS3 property resize doesn't work in IE works in Chrome Safari Opera Mozilla Firefox doesn't work in IE right again IE so I've specified a padding of 10 px basically creating a cushion inside so that the text doesn't touch the walls of the division I also use the max with max height properties people this is setting up the upper limitations 
So you cannot go beyond over. You cannot spill over this uh, size, people. 300 px each, and I've specified a background color uh, hash 333, a darkish color, this shade, and uh, also the color to be white. Basically, the font color to be white. Obviously, if the background is dark, you need to have a light background. You know, the light font color. Alrighty. So that's all that there is to the code. So let me just uh, sum it up quickly. Now the height and the width act, act as lower limitations where the max width max height act as the upper limitations. We can completely do away with max width max height people in which case you can actually don't have any upper boundary. You can increase the uh, you know resize it as much as you would want to then. But even though the height and the width act as stoppers or the lower limitations in other browsers but that doesn't happen in Mozilla Firefox which you can actually go beyond 200 each right and uh, as I said it's best to keep overflow as auto but you have uh, other two values to scroll will uh, force the scroll bars even if they are needed or not and the other one the third option is actually hidden or the third value is actually hidden so just in case the text is too much for the div to hold it spells over whatever is you know is uh, goes beyond the division is actually chopped off Truncate it won't be shown. Set. Okay, the resize we have set to both. Basically, we can increase it horizontally as well as vertically. Can acquire two more values horizontal, vertical, and even none people. None basically means that you can't resize it. Simple. Alright, so I've specified a padding of 10 max with max height of 300 each, right, which is going to act as the upper limit. Background color so and so, color so and so. So that's all that is there too the CSS3 resize property which still doesn't work in IE. So I hope you found this information useful people. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.